It is R&B week here on Wake Up Central, and we thought what better way to wrap up the Grammys than introducing you to an Arkansan who has his own trophy. Ashley King sat down with record executive producer and songwriter Al Bell to talk about his long road to the top that starts right here in Arkansas. Otis Redding, Isaac Hayes, the Staple Sisters, and Prince, legends with ties to one Arkansas native, record producer Al Bell. But before his big break in the music industry, Bell was just the student council president at Scipio A. Jones High School in North Little Rock. The girls who made up my constituency that got me elected and caused me to run said, we want you to go to the principal and get the principal to let you do record hops or discos after the, the, the basketball games and football games. It was a request Bell wasn't sure about. I, I don't know what I can do that. They said, listen, we got you elected president of student council. So he asked, and to his surprise, the principal said yes. The school even provided the equipment, but he was still missing a crucial component. I, I got it approved, but how do I get records? They said, well, we'll go back and ask our classmates. So the students loved the idea. So Bell created a system to keep up with their record collection. And once the hops got off the ground, he turned his attention to the music. So I started watching them dance, and I'd ask them, what is it that you like about this record? Why do you dance, and what is it that you like in the lyrics? And they would start telling me. That's where I really learned how to understand music, understand on an elementary level, how music affected people. He eventually came up with the idea for a show between Scipio A. Jones and Dunbar High Schools, and he reached out to KOKY, Arkansas's first radio station geared toward a black audience. The station helped judge and promote the contest, which, of course, was emceed by Bell. And a week later, he had a meeting with the general manager. And I walked in, and he said, uh, you have an uncanny gift to gab. Said, now he said, I'm going to make a disc jockey out of you. He gave Bell a job, a mission, and advice that he turned to throughout his career. He said, you go around to, to all of the restaurants, and in the restaurants they have jukeboxes, so that the music that they're playing in there, that you hear blacks playing in there, that's the music that they love and want to hear, because they got to pay for that. And that's the music I want you to play. As a high school student, Bell quickly became a popular host and DJ who was proud to play the music listeners loved. And I'm sure you got a lot of phone calls, too, where people oh would tell you God. their entire life story and what the song meant to them yes. and how important it was. Yes, and, yes. And always remember in those times in your life that correlate with a certain song. Yes. He spent two years on the air in Little Rock and another two in Memphis before wrapping up his radio career in Washington, D.C., where he found himself playing music for a presidential audience. And one of my listeners I'm pleased to say was Lady Bird Johnson. But well, <laughs> one day she called me on the phone. I'm so proud of that, like a 16-year-old kid with my new bicycle. She called me and asked me to play G Wiz by Carla Thomas. <laughs> I said, that I'm Lady Bird Johnson. Yeah, that did it. That's yeah. a highlight in my life at that early age. Forget ratings. That's all the ratings you needed. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. His time in radio would set the course for the rest of his career, and things were moving fast, something that he credits to the people. I kept up with people, and that kept me keeping up. Because if you look at people, I mean, they're moving. I mean, not just one set of people, just people in general. And it, uh, it, moved, it moved pretty fast. But in the end, it's all about the music. And I didn't appreciate it until I looked back in retrospect that it was an art form, right. that music was art. The industry wasn't treating it that way, but music was really, uh, and still is, uh, art. And that is just the beginning of Bell's story. Tomorrow morning, Ashley and Al look back at his time at Stax Records, his influence on R&B music, and the hit song he wrote right here in Arkansas.